Next up on Entertainment Nightly, Justine Timberland announces a new tour with Tyler Shift, and we get a sneak peek at John the Rock Dwayneson's new movie. Hi, my name is Jennifer Lyle, and I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada. I currently ride a Harley Davidson Iron 883, but I think that my dream bike would be anything that has luggage because I'm really lacking in that department. Um, one day I really hope to be able to see another country on two wheels. I think that'd be really super cool. I'm really excited to be collaborating with the two Kiwi riders on a brand new episode of Sporty Sport Sport Faith Station. You can find me on Instagram at Jennifer Lau or you can find me on YouTube. It's a brand new channel, but you can find me at Hell Yeah Jenny and Jenny has an eye. Hello, I'm beloved YouTube personality, Mr. Kiwi Rider. Just a note or two on how we created tonight's episode of Sporty Sport Sport Face Station. We approached the script in a theatre sport style, where we wrote the foundational script, but instead of showing that to Jennifer, we wrote questions that would prompt her to say phrases and manners of speaking that would fit within that framework. And once we received Jennifer's videography back, we were able to then record our own. Anyway, I think you'll get the picture. I have to go now, it's almost on. Oh, and thank you for watching. John, does it does it look like anything's wrong with this to you? Is it meant to be that small? Roll camera. Hello and welcome to Sporty Sport Sport Face Station. I'm Mike Michelson. And I'm John Johnson. And tonight we're crossing live to our Canadian correspondent. Dean, get the moose out of the mayonnaise. Come on. Barry, get the beaver out of the bathtub. Oh, we're on. Hi, I'm Jen Jensen, Canadian correspondent. How are you feeling tonight, Jen? I'm feeling frustrated. Jen, I understand you're feeling that way because you lost something recently. What was that? It was a bottle of maple syrup. I'm very sorry for your loss, Jen. But as they say, yesterday is another day. Tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. Yesterday is another tomorrow. I don't think that's right, John. Before we move on, a word from our sponsor. Sporty Sports Sport Face Station is brought to you by COVID-19. Like you had any plans for 2020 anyway. Jen, how many years have you been sportscasting now? 72. That's incredible. Longer than me. Everybody's longer than you, Mike. Jen, I understand one of your greatest achievements is collecting the world's largest private collection of an item belonging to a world-famous actor. Who was that actor? And tell us, what was that item? Jason Momoa. And what was the item? A giant tub of lube. 
That sounds like it's right up your alley, Mike. Well, with all that lube, it could easily be... What's the one thing you can't live without as a sports journalist, Jen? My beaver nunchucks. Jen, tell us, who was your greatest inspiration when studying to be a sportscaster? Of course, Kermit the Frog. A veteran of the business indeed. Jen, what inspirational words of theirs resonated with you the most? Flail your arms rapidly. Absolutely just flail them. Just like reach for everything and move as much as possible. Those are some powerful words indeed, Jen. And of course, Jen Jensen is on the ground there in Canada covering a very important sporting event. I love Canada. And I especially love how all those Canadians say, well, Jen, why don't you tell us what all the Canadians say? So when you see the moose, make sure you pee in his direction so that he'll come over to you. Now, what is the name of the stadium the event is being held in, Jen? It's called Bullwinkle Stadium. Bullwinkle Stadium, I might have guessed. And of course, the only stadium with enough room for 120,000 people. How many people are there, Jen? 22. Impressive. Two teams, one competition, one ultimate winner. Tell us what world championship sport you're covering for us tonight, Jen. Monopoly. A world-class sport indeed. Tell me, who are the competing teams in the final? The Red Dicks and the Chickadee Beavers. Jen, I understand a player from the latter team has been sidelined with an injury. Who was that? Noel Wright. And I understand that player had an unfortunate incident this morning with an item. Jen, what was that item? It was a spatula. Did they suffer any injuries? Yeah, it was a brain hemorrhage, and they also suffered a scraped knee. How many days recovery will they need? 323,942. Wow, I bet the coach was upset. Tell us, uh, what's the name of the coach for that team? Melissa Puffer-Smith. Well, that is going to put the cat among the pigs, John. Pigeons. Oh, I'm sorry. That is going to put the pigeons among the pigs, John. Odd saying that when you think about it. Jen, what is the feeling in the stadium right now? Sexy time. What do you think is causing that feeling, Jen? It's totally due to a lack of poutine in the food trucks. What are they selling in the food trucks? Haggis. Liver. <gasps> what is the name of the vendor selling that? They're called Charmin Flu Catering. Jen, you were saying before we went to air that there were a couple of spectators that were fighting and it spilled over into the field of play. One of them was accusing the other one of stealing something. What was that? A candy wrapper. And what were they shouting at each other? Just have all the whores. All the whores. Take them. Fed them. Make sure everyone finds out about it. That is so inappropriate. Yes, sir. Tell me, Jen, how many minutes until this competition gets underway? 394. I understand the winner will get a year's supply of something, Jen. A year's supply of what exactly? The tears of our enemies. And the runner-up receives? Three yards of wool. Jen, any last words before we go to our next story? Face. Portrait. Shutter. Stereo. Teddy bear. 
Fox. Well, those are some great words indeed, Jen. Tell me, do you think you'll ever make it out here to the Sporty Sports Sport Face offices to meet us in person? Oh, I hope that never happens, eh? Well, that's all we've got time for this evening. Until we see you again, I'm Mike Michelson. And I'm on some quite strong laxatives. Man, those guys are tools, eh? Uh, you're still on the air, Jen. And now, crossing to Jim with the weather. John. No, John, Jim. Yes. No, Jen, Jim. Actually, Jen and John, you won't have met Jim. Jim, Jen, John. John, Jen, Jim. And soon we'll cross to our brand new cooking correspondent, Gemma Jemison. Jem, do you know everybody? Jem, John, Jen, and Jim. John, Jen, and Jim, Jem. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>